أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the last session we discussed how to assess model fit and how to improve model fit based on factor loadings modification indices and standardized residual covariances Now in this session rather than taking two constructs I'm taking three constructs Let's assume these two are my exogenous construct and this one is my endogenous construct now as we have already discussed that we first do our measurement model or confirmatory factor analysis now in this case how do i do confirmatory factor analysis we should draw covariance now drawing covariances using this particular tool is very easy if you've got two or three constructs but what if you've got more than two or three now the easiest step is to select the latent variable so you go here this select one object at a time click here click aud click be and ls now these have turned blue go to plugins draw covariances now it will automatically draw covariances now deselect all of them by clicking here now let's run the model first of all let's see the data yes the data is there and we look at the output yes i've got the output and let's run it Now look at the output standardized estimates well this is good this is good this is good the loadings are pretty good as well now let's go to the output first thing first let's look at the model fit very good well slightly low slightly acceptable very good look at the rmsca less than 0.08 but can it be improved look at the modification indices look at the top look at the ones that you can improve e7 e8 start with the highest ones e7 e8 and 2324 let's do e7 e8 first go to the input e7 e8 well yes they are from the same construct let's run it go to the output look at the modification indices if required but first look at this one yeah improved still not that good rmsca significantly improved look at the other ones any one higher so we can do 36 and 34 let's look at 36 and 34 so where is 36 well no 36 is not possible because 6 is here and 3 is here and that's not possible look at the other if possible modification indices look at the loadings as well sorry i forgot to look at the loadings look at the loadings look at the loadings good mm, not that good for loadings make sure you look at standardized regression weights This one is low life satisfaction 0.461 but now you have to make a decision do you want to delete it although you you are getting a good fit for your model or do you want to keep it so now it's your decision if i were you i would have kept it because i'm already getting a good fit my sr srmr let's look at the srmr run the model 0.04 which is good so it's now a decision that one has to make all the indicators are good the loadings are pretty good just for, apart from one or two the fit is good so now it's for you to decide whether you want to delete this item and further improve the loading and if it improves the loading significantly then only delete it now let's for now let's look at this model fit look at rmsc okay 0.066 let's delete it and then again we will check it go to input your model ls5 i think it was now you need to define the parameter again double click it oops why did it happen because you already had a cross here just undo it by pressing control z or here is your undo the previous change now here it is so what you need to do is deselect this one double click on this parameter 
add one as regression weight and then rerun your model and look at the RMSCA did it improve significantly well actually it didn't it did it sort of increased so it's better to have that value or rather that indicator rather than removing it so again you might get a very good data that fits the model well you do not need to do much with the model but sometimes it's the other way around as we did in our last lecture now as you go along we will have multiple examples like this one or the previous one that will guide you how to improve your model fit next lecture will be on assessing the reliability and validity of these constructs thank you very much